Well, India's third lunar spacecraft, Chandrayaan-3, is on its way to the moon. The craft is healthy and working perfectly. The Indian Space Agency is now taking regular steps to steer the craft further away from the Earth and towards the moon. In this report, our senior correspondent Siddharth MP explains the orbit-raising maneuvers being undertaken by the Indian lunar spacecraft. Take a look. India's third lunar exploration mission lifted off at 2.35 p.m. IST on 14th July. Named Chandrayaan-3, this is a mission to soft land on the moon and perform on-site studies using a lander and rover. The tentative lunar landing date and time is fixed at 5.47 p.m. IST on 23rd August. India's spacecraft will be taking 40 days to cover the 3.84 lakh kilometers of distance between the Earth and the Moon. That's quite a long time. For example, the American Apollo 11 mission that ferried astronauts to the Moon in the year 1969 took barely four days to get there. But why is the Indian craft taking 40 days? The answer lies in the kind of rocket and spacecraft being used and their capabilities. In 1969, the Saturn V rocket that carried man to the moon was at the time the world's most powerful rocket. It could carry a whopping 40 tons or 40,000 kilograms to the moon. LVM-3 can carry 4 tons or 4,000 kilometers to the moon. This is barely one-tenth of the American Saturn rocket of the 1960s. Having a larger, more powerful rocket offers the ability to carry a huge spacecraft with tons of fuel and large engines. This helps speed up the journey to the moon and makes it possible to reach in four days. However, in the absence of such heavy and powerful rockets, Indian Space Agency ISRO is performing some frugal engineering with available resources. Instead of travelling straight to the moon, India's Chandrayaan-3 craft will circle the Earth multiple times in the coming weeks and take a circuitous route. At regular intervals, the lunar craft will be slingshot further away from the Earth and finally hurled out of Earth's gravitational influence. Then it would be put on the path to the moon. This is a tried and tested method that ISRO has used for previous lunar missions such as Chandrayaan-1 and 2. It's been four days since the Indian Space Agency, ISRO, launched its third lunar spacecraft mission, Chandrayaan-3. In the last four days, ISRO has carried out three orbit-raising maneuvers of its spacecraft and the commands for this were issued from ISRO's ISTRAC, a tracking, telemetry and command facility based in Bengaluru. Orbit-raising maneuvers ensure that the spacecraft is in orbit but pushed further away from the Earth while being in a highly elliptical orbit. Let's also tell you that the third orbit-raising maneuver was carried out today between 2 and 3 p.m. India time and the next orbit-raising maneuver is expected on Thursday, 20th July. And after that, a final ORM is expected by the end of this month and then on the spacecraft will be on a straight path towards the moon and it is scheduled to make a lunar soft landing towards the end of August. Now we know that the lunar landing is scheduled for 5.47 p.m. India time on the 23rd of August. From Chennai, Siddharth MP, Vyond, World is One.